Hello. Welcome to EasyVB. Tutorial 7. In this tutorial we will learn more about the properties of buttons. As the starting point we will commence with the code and application from tutorial 6. Watch tutorial 6 again as a reminder, or watch it if you have not previously watched it. We will not examine all of the button properties, as there are too many to cover in a short tutorial. Instead we will target just a few of the properties that can enhance the appearance of the application. Before we look at button properties we will cover one further item for the click event covered in tutorial 6. In tutorial 6 we examined the click event for the button control object. But it is worth noting that the click event is not exclusive to buttons, it can be used on other objects as well. To demonstrate this, in Form 1 Design go to the blue picture box PB Blue and double click on it. It can be observed that a click event sub is now generated that handles PB Blue. Ok, now we will write some code in this sub, to do something when PB Blue is clicked. For visibility of the click event action, let's write some code that will change the size of PB Blue from 50 pixels square to 100 pixels square. Write the code PB Blue dot size equals new space size open bracket 100 comma 100 close bracket. Run the application. Click on PB Blue, and yes, we can see its size increased. Confirming click events are not exclusive to the button object. Ok, now let's move to the main subject for this tutorial and look at some properties of the button object. When we run the application it works fine but its appearance is somewhat dull. We can improve that, by adjusting some of the button properties. Click on BTN Red, go to the properties menu and scroll down to back color, change the back color to red. Now it appears red, matching its text and the function it will perform when clicked. Similarly change the back colors of BTN blue and BTN green. Run the application. It now has a better appearance, but the small black text on the buttons is not too clear. Close the application, and we will adjust more of the button properties to improve the application appearance. On Form 1 Design, select all three buttons. Go to the Properties menu, scroll down to Size, change the size from 186 times 35 to 200 times 50. Go back to the form and neatly readjust the position of the now larger sized buttons. Again select all three buttons and return to the properties menu. Scroll down to font and open the options for font by clicking the plus symbol. Go to bold, and change false to true. Go to size, and change it from 8.25 to 14. Go to name, and scroll the font types to find mouser. Click on mouser to select that font type. Close the font options by clicking the minus symbol. Go to for color, change the control text color to white. Go back to the form now to check how the appearance looks. Run the application. The appearance is much improved. The buttons are very clear and their appearance matches their function. Close the application. The appearance is good now but we can make more improvements by adjusting more button properties. Click on BTN Red, go to the Properties menu, and scroll down to Flat Style. 
we can see that there are four options for flat style. These are, flat, pop-up, standard, and system. We will not cover all of these, but we will select the flat style, flat, as this gives us the most useful options for the functional appearance. Go to flat appearance and click on the plus symbol to open the options. Change the border color to black. Change the border size to 3. Change the mouse down color to yellow. Change the mouse over color to salmon. Run the application again to check the functional appearance. For BTN Red we can see the improvement. The button now changes shade when the mouse cursor is moved over it. The button also flashes yellow in affirmation when it is clicked. Now let's see how the application appears when we make similar changes to the other buttons. Much better, isn't it? It is now a much more attractive application to run, and this was achieved with just a few changes to the button properties. There are many more properties to explore. We cannot cover them all in this single tutorial. Some we will meet in later tutorials, but you can go ahead on your own and explore what other properties do. As a help, Visual Studio provides a brief description of the properties and what they do at the base of the properties menu, when a particular property is clicked. OK. In tutorial 7 we have learned a bit more about properties of buttons and the properties menu, generally. In the next tutorial we will learn about the form and objects coordinates convention. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.